Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to upgrade or how to change an AMD CPU on an AM4 socket. So in my video I'll be upgrading my Ryzen 7 5800X to the Ryzen 9 5900X. Before we start the upgrade, I want to inform you of two very important things. The first thing is that if you have encryption on your hard drives, like BitLocker for instance, the encryption key will be saved on the TPM on your motherboard. So when you upgrade the processor, this encryption key will be lost. So you need the recovery key for you to be able to restart your PC after you upgrade the processor. If you don't have the recovery key, a workaround for this is to decrypt the drives before upgrading the CPU and you can re-encrypt the drives after upgrading the CPU. The second thing is that if you had settings for the CPU on your motherboard like overclocking or other fine tunings, these settings will be lost. So you need to reconfigure them after you upgrade the CPU. That being said, let's start with the upgrade. So this is my PC and the CPU is under this thermal right CPU cooler. In order for me to remove the CPU cooler to reach the CPU, I need to remove one of the fans that is hiding the screws of the CPU cooler. So this is the fan. It has two brackets. I'm gonna remove them. So this is the fan removed. I'm gonna remove the brackets so that they don't fall in my PC. And I'm gonna show you later how to install them. You don't have to disconnect the fan in case the cable is long enough. So just put it aside. And now I can reach the screws of the CPU cooler. So unscrew the screws. So now the screws are unscrewed. So now what you need to do is to turn the CPU cooler a little bit like this and like this because the thermal paste may be glued to the CPU. So you don't want to yank it and remove the CPU with it. So let me turn it a bit like this and then like this. And you see it is removed. So this here is the CPU. You need to clean it before removing it. So clean it a bit with any wipe. Clean it thoroughly from the thermal paste before removing it. And then you have this lever, push it down and push it to the side and then up. And now you can remove the CPU. So now I'm going to open the Ryzen 9. So this is the CPU. The CPU doesn't come with a cooler. Handle the CPU with care. Do not touch the pins of the CPU. And you notice there's a white dot on the CPU. It has a triangle here and it needs to be aligned with the triangle that is here. So just rest the CPU on its socket without pushing it. And here's the CPU went into its socket. And now push it just a little bit with your finger while pushing the lever down and then putting it in its cradle here. And now we need to clean the CPU cooler here so that we put a fresh thermal paste. So also with a wipe, clean it thoroughly. So now the surface is really clean. And now we need to apply thermal paste. So I have this thermal paste from Corsair. This is the TM30. I'm going to leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. Also, I'm going to leave a link in the description for the CPU cooler from Thermalrite, which is really very good. It has seven heat pipes. And I'm going to leave also a link in the description for this Ryzen 9 5900X. And the links are affiliate links. So let's apply the thermal paste. Thermalrite says to put nine small dots of thermal paste on the CPU and this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna apply nine small dots. So here it is, you don't need more than this. And now I'm gonna install the CPU cooler. And once you put the CPU cooler on the CPU, try not to move it anymore so that the thermal paste will be well distributed. And now I need to tighten the screws. Tighten a bit on the top and a bit on the bottom. As soon as the screw stops turning, stop tightening. Do not over tighten it. And now we need to reinstall the fan that is in the middle. So make sure to install it in the right direction. 
So this is the right direction for the fan here. I need to put the brackets and slide the fan while holding the brackets so that they don't fall. And once the fan is in place, put the brackets into the CPU cooler. So this is everything installed now. After you install the CPU, your PC will prompt you to go into the setup because it detected that there's a new CPU. So just press F1 to run setup. Of course, the key to run the setup depends on the manufacturer of your motherboard. Here I have an Asus motherboard, so it was F1. And you notice here that I have the new CPU Ryzen 9 5900X. And here, if you had the performance setting for your CPU, go ahead and put the performance setting once again. And this is what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna go into advanced mode and I'm gonna go under AI tweaker. And then I'm gonna put the Asus performance enhancement to enabled. And then I'm gonna go to my favorites and the precision boost drive. I'm gonna put it to manual and I'm gonna put the multiplier to 4X here. So this was the setting that I have on my 5800X and it worked fine. So click on save and exit and then click on OK and the PC will restart with the new CPU. And because we installed a new CPU and this is a major change for the system, the TPM will detect this change and if you had BitLocker you need to re-enter the recovery key of your BitLocker as I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Here I don't have BitLocker enabled, so I'm going to press on yes and it will erase the TPM, it will reset it and the system will start. And this is a CPU model as you see it, Ryzen 9 5900X. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer all your questions and all your comments. I hope that you liked this video and you found it useful. In case you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.